couple quick announcements. If you want to come and see me for one of my gallery shows or for a private reading, I do have a couple events coming up at the beautiful haunted Margin Manor Winery in Appleton, New York. Tickets are on sale now. That's going to be, uh, let's see, is that Sunday, October 27th? Yes. I believe. Yep. Okay. I will also be at Danny Fit Gym for our third annual Spirit Fest. Me and a ton of graduates from my school, the Ivy League Psychic Academy, we're putting on another psychic fair. Um, I know that she has free food and wine and a ton of vendors. I will be doing a gallery show there. Tickets are on sale. And we'll be offering private reads after. We do have Reiki training coming up for levels one, two, and masters on October 5th. What else do we have? Meet your guides class. Such a foundational class in understanding yourself and the universe and your helpers on the other side. If you aren't familiar with your guides, attend this class through Facebook Live. It's also been a video download for quite some time. Or you can come in person Monday, August 19th. We currently have level one psychic mediumship development going on. We are in like the third of the fourth week. You can still jump in for that. It's a 16 week course. You can do it from anywhere in the world. So we hope to see you there for psychic mediumship development. Also, most importantly, my empathic training after four years of pushing it into the school systems is in. So if you are part of a district that isn't offering this yet, please contact me. Um, I'm also interested in getting it into the VAs, the prison systems. Um, where else were we talking about pushing recently? Um, rehabilitation programs. Rehabilitation programs, yes, okay. Um, so please uh, let me know. This has helped so, so many people find stability in their emotions, their mental state, and their reactions, okay, especially regarding anxiety, depression, aggression, things like this. Empathic awareness is now into the system. Um, huge success. Okay, let's get right into the horoscopes. I think we have enough people viewing and the audio seems to be good, all right, so we're going to move forward. This is going to be um, your weekly horoscope from Friday, August 9th to Friday, August 16th, and this is going up on my YouTube channel. Uh, that's Ask a Medium. If you haven't subscribed, the link is above. Now, if you subscribe, you'll also receive the monthly updates and things that I do outside of these shows. So let's get started. What is going on with you for this week, Aries? Aries, I feel like you're spelling a lot of negative energy, a lot of toxic energy. Um, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I'm under the impression, which could be part of this, could be something else entirely, um, but I'm under the impression that you've been quiet, that you've been feeling silenced for quite some time. And Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week, I feel that you would be examining those concepts and you would really be figuring out once and for all what it is that's going on with you that has made you feel as though you're supposed to bite your tongue or stifle your honest opinion of something. I do feel like a relationship is involved in this. For some of you, it could be romantic, but I was actually feeling more like familial, um, possibly even parent to child. There's some kind of a, some kind of a, a sense of almost like entrapment um, that isn't allowing you to fully express yourself or be yourself. Um, I feel it creating tension for you. A sense of a close throat chakra, a real need to want to speak your truth, but at the same time, you know that it's going to be dysfunctional or create more problems if you do. Now you find yourself in a dilemma where you're saying, well, for how long am I supposed to suppress this? Because I know that what I'm saying is right. It's the right way. It's coming from a place of wisdom. It should be. Uh, the change that needs to occur here and it's not being heard. My feeling is that this is no time for you to ride off of your ego. It's no time for you to come from a place of fear is what I'm saying or a need to manipulate the situation. It is genuinely out of your hands right now. So just allow it to be out of your hands. You've done what you were supposed to do. Sit and wait until you get further instructions which aren't coming necessarily this week. On Friday, 
You have a potential money day, uh, prosperity, increase, progress, phone ringing, contracts coming through an email, something that was lost or something that was slow may just pop up out of nowhere. I feel really good about that. I'm feeling you needing to get in the water, which is a cleansing symbol, so do some cleansing on Saturday, or quite literally go ahead and get in the water. Go have a fun day. I see like water skiing and jet skis and things like that. Um, Taurus, what is going on with you this week? Taurus, I feel like it's important for you to listen to the intuitive whisperings that are going on in your ear. A lot of you seem to have something acting up that I call clairaudient ability. Clairaudient ability is the ability to hear spirits in your head as though it is your own thought. Everyone thinks that all of their thoughts are their own, and they aren't. Negative and lower spirits in the universe will manipulate your brain. It'll seem as though it is your own thought because it comes in your own voice. Um, and spirits in the light will manipulate your thinking to send you helpful healing wisdom and advice and direction. I see helpful healing advice being given to you through your clairaudient ability this week, but I also think that you could find yourself either moving so quickly and or being so distracted in a boxed in way of thinking, a stubborn way of blocked thinking that is unfortunately tuning out all of this really advantageous information and it's just being lost. It's like right above your head. You're really going to have to slow down and say, um, you know, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I observing around me? And where are all of my thoughts leading in terms of self-development progression on my circumstances? Because you could just seriously pass right by this one. Um, I want to say it's important too that you're letting go of any self-esteem issues that you might be having because a lot of that is feeding this problem. If you are prone to headaches this week, this would be what? The information is building up in the right side of your brain, your intuitive brain, the right side, and it's not being processed. I also feel for you though, in the beginning of the week leading up to this, I'm hearing um, you know, eat the cookie, buy the shoes, meaning pamper yourself, because I do feel like you are going through a little bit of emotional turbulence. And some people around you, two people in particular, may not have shown up for you in exactly the way that you thought they should have. You may have gotten the short end of the deal, and um, there's a little bit of healing that needs to go on in your heart chakra. I do see a new love relationship coming up for you, potentially more toward the end of the week. For some of you more toward the end of the month that's kind of a different topic we'll get on to that later um gemini what is going on with you who gemini my fellow gemini's i feel you being pushed really really quickly from a force behind you that seems to know where it's taking you so there seems to be guidance coming from let's just say in a nutshell the universe a push a shove to make you go forward and you may feel it and be like oh my god that's too much it's too much all at once um no it isn't just let yourself go with it i don't see you stumbling i don't see you falling or even tripping honestly so um this push forward is really going to put you into a more powerful position than what you had been in prior to that what's interesting about this is I see you moving forward and I see you being at first shocked and then happy with it and feeling like I earned this, I've been waiting for this. The thing is you're leaving some people behind and what can happen in a situation like this is that everybody can't go with you. So if you feel that some people around you maybe aren't as happy as they should be, they're being blatantly even unsupportive uh, sometimes or there's a certain sadness there Unfortunately, you are going to have to kind of leave them behind and it's accurate, their interpretation of how they're losing you to this um, because you're going to be very, very busy and very wrapped up in this and that's okay. Um, ultimately, you're taking everybody with you because this is for the greater good. Um, there's some, it's almost like sexual energy coming in. I want to say I'm looking into next week, like Friday evening, 
I don't know if you're meeting somebody brand new or if this is just sort of a sexual encounter of some kind. For some of you, I almost feel like sexual healing of something from your past that has been confusing or dark or heavy for a long time. Either way, I feel like it's sparking your creativity. Enjoy. Cancer, my fellow Cancers, what is going on with you? I have you being really, really strong this week, especially on Wednesday. I also have you um, coming from a different place than what you had been before. So if you were feeling emotionally like punching bag for a long time by the universe uh, feeling a little low in your energy or feeling a, a lack of esteem I feel like you're coming at things from a really different place this week um, I want to say that Thursday there's a ton of talk here about you speaking your truth speaking your mind speaking to groups um, telling the masses what it is that you believe and having an interesting outlet for that. So it almost looks to me like whether it's cameras, it's YouTube, it's the written word, it's print journalism, it's um, you know radio, whatever it might end up being, you're going to have an opportunity to speak to somebody uh, on Thursday or speak up in some way that will be used later on down the road for bigger purposes and uh, you should really plan ahead and utilize that time and that experience um, not being distracted by the other things that are going to cross your path to steer you wrong. Um, I, I want to say again I have a lecture uh, it's like 48 minutes long on my YouTube channel it's called Ask a Medium and the, the little class is called fighting the dark and it really breaks down how every time you're ready to move up to a new level distractions come in or even dark energy might come in to trip you up you're going to want to pay attention to this especially on thursday um those of you who are trying to conceive you may have a lot of luck toward the weekend a lot of sexual energy and a lot of progression with babies and all kinds of things going on coming up toward the weekend good a shot good a shot as any um better Okay, so work on that. Um, Leos, what is going on with you for this upcoming week? Chatter, chatter, chatter. A lot of chatter. A lot of people around you who maybe um, are in no position to talk. I almost feel like, really, you're going to give me direction on my life? Okay, you know, um, unsolicited advice and guidance. And my feeling is that you may have to really tune a lot of people out this week. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have dropped off of social media for a while. You go out to the woods, you're like, I'm camping for the next year. This is it. I'm done. It's over. Um, you know, you, you cut certain people off or you're just not feeding vibes in the same way. Uh, they're bothering you more than what they used to. Okay, so your tolerance level seems to be a bit lowered and I think that's great. I think that it's a great opportunity for you to get away and spend at least three days of this upcoming week examining yourself, examining how you've grown, how you've changed, how you could use that more for healthy leadership going forward. But I also have a lot of grandmother energy, maternal energy, you know, female, feminine energy, sister energy, friend coming into you, talking to you through inner guidance. I would not be surprised if this week you're doing some astro travel. Astro travel can feel when you're sleeping, especially like you're getting sucked into a tunnel or you're being pulled into a void. Um, when you wake up, you could have um, sleep paralysis or sleep apnea. A lot of people aren't comfortable with astro travel. However, when you're doing it this week, I feel like you're spending real time with these um, spirits. I also feel like you're receiving downloads on guidance for your life and the life that you're building. This is actually a majorly transitional week for you. Enjoy it. Um, I do have some younger, more immature male energy coming to you, um, more toward like Thursday and Friday of next week, needing your guidance. I want to say, say it, that's fine, but don't be an enabler and don't repeat yourself. And if you've said it to the past, maybe they need to go figure that out for themselves. Virgo, what is going on with you for this week? Um, I can't prescribe a diagnosis, but I want to say be careful for injury. Watch your arms, watch your shoulders, watch your upper back, your neck area, okay, all of that. Um, don't push things. If you're not supposed to be lifting, you were told not to, what have you. If you're going to the gym, don't exceed what you're used to doing. Just take it easy. Just take it, just take it easy this week. Um, I also feel that for a lot of you Virgos, 
Um, you may find yourself in a situation with a new love affair or a current love affair that you thought you were comfortable with, but you're really not exactly sure how to explain yourself. You've reached a pivotal point. I, I call this in relationships. Pivotal point means in my readings that you're either going to come closer together or you're going to go further apart. This is an opportunity, not a burden. This isn't, you're not cursed. This is an opportunity for you to learn how to communicate and take your ability to be intimate with somebody else up to the next level. And you really need to let this person know what it is that you're thinking, what it is that you're feeling, and where it is that you would like to see this thing going. Don't be cold, don't be distant, don't be wishy-washy, or it's going to blow up in your face. Um, there's also some talk of transfer of money from a check to from one account to another so if you were transferring any money to either pay something off um, later on in the week or you were thinking of putting it from like a checking account into a savings account um, you were thinking of investing some of your cash whatever it is there needs to be a transfer of a fairly significant portion of money over don't overlook it it does have to do with timing libra what is going on with you for this week Libra. I have you pedaling on a bicycle with one foot. And what's interesting is that there is no other pedal. There is only a pedal on that one side. This to me, clearly symbology, that's how it works. This to me means that you feel as though you're treading water a bit or you feel as though you're putting in 10 times the amount of effort and you're not getting even half of what you ought to be out of um, the work in your life the money in your life the progress in general i feel that there is a situation with your work your business partnerships where you have been communicating your thoughts out and you've been saying this is where the work is headed this is where the company should be headed this is where the focus needs to be or at least this is where my position needs to be headed. And I feel that it's been ignored, not necessarily dismissed, but it's definitely been overlooked. And I think that this is a week where that sort of comes to a head because you can only pedal like that for so long. And while you may be feeling like it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, and you're putting on a bright sunshiny face, I feel like that bike's not moving. I don't know how long it's been going on like that, but it's definitely not moving. And Sometimes you have to growl um, before you bite, but it's definitely time to growl and let people know that you're serious about what you had said and you're not putting it off any longer. Um, Scorpio, oh Libra, you may also be getting a call from someone from your past. This in terms of a past life may have been a brother or a sister or a teammate or a fellow soldier but in this life they're taking on a different form most likely um and i feel like it's something you're supposed to explore something you're supposed to examine seeing bumping into this person or hearing directly from this person okay um unresolved uh issues more lessons to come from it things in this vein scorpio what is going on with you this week i have you going into really deep waters this week i have you um really swimming like olympic style out into it you don't care you have no fear other people are like on the shore like oh my god i can't believe how far out she's going you are just doing it um it is also really symbolic of cleansing when i see someone in waters like this because they're somewhat rough um they're definitely washing away old concepts and old stigmas and old ways of entrapment that you've been living in the thing is the water is really quite dark and um i think that you don't know where you're headed next you just know that you're supposed to be out there and you're just you're just swimming for it you're just going for it you don't care if there's a boat you don't care if there's land you're even assuming that there might not be and you're not allowing that to stop you that's um it's i i want to say good for you i also feel like even though the water is dark and sometimes you look down you're like i don't even know where i'm headed i i don't know what possessed me to do this you may have moments of regret or shock or a sense of like i'm gonna stop and procrastinate or be stagnant don't do that because this is a lot like um what i teach my students about taking blind steps in faith 
And if you made a decision from your intuition, if the universe told you, if your higher mind knew you were supposed to do it, keep going, okay? The right opportunities will light up before you when it's time. So that's Scorpio. I also see money falling down from the sky for you. Some of you are getting a job promotion. Some of you are getting a new job and some of you have been at a job where you've really been wanting to like leave and tell them, forget it, I'm out of here. This might be your big opportunity, um, especially Wednesday into Thursday. And I'm hearing phone, the phone's ringing on Friday afternoon. Sagittarius, see how good I'm doing? I'm like extremely, <laughs> you're wearing off on me. So organized. Um, Sagittarius, what is happening with you? Sag, I want to say that this week it's important that you're not working from a place of emotion, that you're not being uh, dysfunctional, childlike, immature, avoid Peter Pan type syndromes or victimhood mentalities. Um, I see you like obsessively eating a bowl of cereal, but it's like one bowl. It's okay to have like two bowls of cereal, okay? It's not okay to eat the whole box. And it's not okay to eat a whole box of like, you know, what is that chocolate cookie one? Chocolate cookie cereal, okay? Like, it's not cookie okay. Crisp. Cookie crisp. It's yeah. not okay to eat, like, junk like that. If it were something even healthy, maybe we could modify this, but it just looks like straight up, like, you're, you're just over-consuming. This, to me, seems to reflect that you are trying to avoid some kind of mental or emotional processing by overeating it also looks to me like you're giving yourselves uh, pats on the back saying I earned this I earned this and it's like no you didn't not yet okay in some areas you have but you have to stop I also feel like you are in a restless state and I want to say um, especially Wednesday Thursday and Friday and I also want to say into Sunday evening it's important that you are not over consuming um, everything, whether you're talking too much, whether you're demanding more of others than what you should be, whether you're demanding more out of, um, you know, your blessings, your living situation, don't be so restless and driven at having more um, because you're not at peace within yourself. You're going to have to work this out this week. Capricorn, what is going on for you? I have breakthroughs for you this week, Capricorn. I have children coming in to assist you if you've made wise investments with children. Um, people you've mentored, others you've taken care of will be stepping up and giving you something that you're kind of, I'm hearing from your guides, that you're entitled to this. So I feel like you earned it at some point and that's really great. Um, I also have a completion, a stamp of completion uh, going on to what looks to me like a contract of some kind and it feels to me like it's sort of the closing of one chapter and the beginning of something new. Um, I want to say that some of you are going through a process of having to let go of relationships that are no longer serving you, volunteering that you've been doing that is no longer serving you, a job that no longer does, a house that you've been hanging on to. If you can do that, earlier in the week that we're talking about here, you'll reap those benefits later. Uh, it's like something has to go before something new can come in, and I feel really, really good about that. I have coinage coming in Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, okay, sort of like coins dropping from heaven, so bouts of luck is what that's really going to mean. Um, that's a lot of luck. Jeez, Capricorn has like the week. Okay, Aquarius, what is going on with Aquarius? Had the really amazing week uh, last time we did this. Aquarius. Okay. I see you being very directive in your words. I also see them not always being received and you not knowing when to stop saying it and come at it from another approach, another angle, or just stop and let the person process. I see you also being in control. So I see you driving your car forward, but feeling like it comes to an abrupt halting, stopping. And what that's going to mean is that you feel very much in control as you start this week off. And then you're starting to feel like you hit a bit of a 
you know, being disregarded, a bit of a, a wall in communications with, with this person or this situation, but you keep going, you keep going, and then it feels to me like you hit a bit of a brick wall, and you're forced to stop. I see you getting out, I see you um, analyzing the situation, feeling frustrated, but feeling like, okay, plan B. I want to say have almost like the military mindset where it's not I'm defeated, I'm going to panic, I'm going to be reactionary. It's solution oriented type thinking. So very quickly you start to process what else could I do? Think outside the box, look at things from another angle. For some of you, I have talk of a house, whether you're trying to unload a property, um, you're having breakthroughs because you're a real, you're in sales for real estate, or you're trying to buy property. I have Friday and Saturday some breakthroughs on things like that also. For those of you who are having trouble with a child, either being rebellious or ungrateful or detached, um, coming and going, coming and going, but never taking instruction or doing any better, um, I see a little bit of a need to sort of let that child go and figure it out for themselves and if they've just been kind of living in your basement for the last decade it might be time to kick them out out of the nest Pisces what is going on with you I see a train full steam ahead it is going from your I want to say future over here into an examination of your past where you've been who you are, what you've learned, what you used to want to do, um, where have you been in your relationships, especially love partnerships, what does that mean for what you want going forward? And I have you going back behind you with this train, which is skeletons in the closet, unfinished business, stuff swept under the carpet. If you analyze these things, and I'm supposed to tell you this, from your guides and your ancestors, what I'm hearing is don't try. Don't try, don't try to figure it out. Just sit quietly and allow them to show you things. They're going to use the world around you. They're gonna use symbology. Humans are the mouthpiece of God. They're gonna use other people and your dreams. You will be shown what you were supposed to process, where you're supposed to be headed, what you genuinely want. A lot of you Pisces seem to be lost in your direction. And I wanna say you could use a reading with me on your life contract. You should know what's within your life contract what you came to earth to do. A big misconception is that we are supposed to do what we're naturally good at. No, you're probably not. You're probably good at it because you did it in previous lives. We're not here to redo things over and over and over again because it supplies a paycheck. You're gonna have to examine this this week. Um, regardless of all of this, I have a ton of love, angelic energy watching out over you. Communication with your guardian angels dreams that bring you a lot of peace a washing away of the old and um <clears throat> i want to say a great sense of comfort even in the change and prosperity coming from all of this exciting times for you coming up pisces if you give this the time and attention that it deserves okay this will be going up on youtube for those of you watching um through youtube i hope that you subscribe to receive your weekly and monthly horoscopes and for those of you here on instagram and facebook we're about to get into the show so thank you for joining